So yesterday I heard a certain Kanye West song on the radio. Now, I didn't know it was Kanye at the time, but I did know that the lyrics of the song sounded like it, a reference to a local gang here in town that knew and knows about making rap videos that instigate violence. So of course I had a few questions and I decided to ask the radio station playing it. I was totally freaked out because I know that's not what we do. So were we. When we heard this song on Power 106.9, we recorded it. It makes reference to Nike. Like Kanye West, you know it as the shoe brand. To some, it means a whole lot more. A gang that produces vulgar online videos we can't and won't show you because that's what they want. Hot Boy says he never considered the song as a gang reference. I know that Kanye West just put out his own line of shoes and he mentioned other shoe lines in that song. And so I just took it as a diss to the shoe brand to kind of promote itself. And that's what West says about his track online. Locally, it started a discussion about suppressing gang propaganda. If it goes mainstream, then it affects our community. Pastor Bruce Williams says if gang music goes mainstream, he's confident it will trigger violence. That type of propaganda uh, would unleash uh, 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 unhealthy situations and circumstances in our community. Hot Boy says he's been approached by local gang-affiliated rap artists wanting airtime. They have presented some of their music to Power 106.9. Um, once we fe once once we found out that it was gang related, we couldn't do it because I don't want to I don't want to put ourselves in the middle of a situation. Nor are we trying to promote gang affiliation or things of that nature. Williams says it's everyone's responsibility to keep peace in our neighborhoods. We've been having some uh, really good weeks uh, in our community. Uh, it's been a really good year in our community, and we like to keep it that way. No one from Omaha police was available for an interview today, but they did tell me that they do appreciate the effort from local radio stations trying to make sure that gang produced music doesn't make it on the air. We're live downtown. Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7.